If you want to know how you can create a realistic happy planner by the ring in Procreate, just keep on watching. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Natalia, the friendly creator behind Akai Hana Art. And for this community, I create videos and assets for illustration, design and digital planning. So, if you like this kind of topics, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you won't miss anything, and like the video if you want to watch more videos related to this one. So, this is the first video on a new series of videos on how to create realistic looking binder rings entirely in Procreate. If you don't know me, if you are new to the channel, I create realistic looking banner parts and planners entirely digital. If you want to know how you can create the whole planner, I made a series of videos like a year ago where I also uh, give away some brushes for Procreate and uh, this made so much easier for you to create your planners entirely from the get-go. So I will leave the link in the description down below to that series of videos. And okay, this is an update from a video that I created like a couple of years ago that is one of my most watched videos uh, on my channel. So I will be doing an updated version where I get in depth where uh, by creating the different type of binder rings in different type of videos so please stay tuned for the rest of the videos of this series and and if you don't like or if you don't have procreate or you don't don't like to create these type of things but you want to get one you can head to my etsy shop where i have a bunch of different binder rings and in png files that you can toss to keynote or powerpoint or get to your note taking app and create your own digital planner very fast and really easy without further ado let's get to procreate and start creating our happy planner binder ring Okay, okay, here we are in Procreate and to begin with, I'm going to be creating a canvas that is A4 size and with 150, 200 dpi tops. I know that people, it's uh, lean to create a bigger canvas like 300 dpi, but if you're, if you're going to work on the screen, you don't have to create such a large image. That is only going to add more size, more uh, size to the file that you create, so you don't have to. Okay, to begin with, I'm going to grab my round brush and I'm going to be creating a little line. Um, like this. And to that line, I'm going to be using the warp tool and this is going to allow me to curve a little bit the image like this uh, as you can see it takes me a little bit of a while even though i create this type of binders constantly um, it takes a little work so if you can do it at the first time it's okay you just redo it and redo it until you are satisfied with the image now I'm going to duplicate that image and the one that is underneath, I'm going to flip it horizontally and I'm going to uh, make it a little bit larger so we have uh, uh, the, a part that is down uh, a little bit larger so you can see it better. Um, now you turn it into alpha and you darken the color that you use like this perfect now you more or less can see the the disc that we are trying to create now um the one that is on top we are going to finish the edges 
so we have to choose the color we have to select the the underneath layer and I'm going to uh, draw on top with the color that we use for that part we are going to finish the edges like this so uh, the disc looks even more realistic I'm going to refine the edges a little bit because when you pull the image uh, some edges can you know like come out okay now I'm going to be adding a layer in between these two and I'm going to be drawing in another color a shape it could be a star, it could be a heart. I'm going to be doing a heart. And uh, that heart is going to be the shape that we are going to make the hole uh, through that image. So I'm going to draw the heart. Uh, I'm going to fill the image. I'm going to refine the edges a little bit. So when uh, you poke quote unquote the hole it looks perfect i'm going to fill that image and i'm going to select that image i'm going to select that layer select and the layer that is underneath we are going to set it clear so the image that we selected is going to make a hole in our layer beneath that one so we have a little hard hole uh, in the disc and i'm going to be creating the uh, usual hole that has the happy planner has that is like a half half a circle so for that i like to create a circle and i'm going to erase when i want and i need to erase This, I'm going to be uh, place it in, in the place that I want it and I'm going to be erasing perfect like this and now I'm going to keep on working underneath uh, so we have shadows and lights and things like that that are going to be making this uh, disc perfect so we're going to be using the brightest color the same color but lighter um, i'm going to be doing the inside part of the disc like this and i'm going to be doing like the heart has um, an edge and we're going to be doing that with the same bright color okay I don't know if you are able to see, but it looks even more realistic uh, than the one I used to do like a couple of years ago. Now that part, I'm going to erase the part where the paper, quote unquote, is going to go. Um, so when you want to place your ring into your notebook, uh, that it's where it's supposed to be the paper and you can create your a notebook okay now I grouped that image so we have one set of disc that we can change color if you want to create a different kind of uh, color um, binder rings or if you want to keep creating that same one but uh, copy duplicate it and copy and paste now i'm going to be working on the top layer we are going to be adding light and shadow also and with the brightest color and the darkest color we are going to be doing that light and that shadow like this the bright part in the middle and the dark part in the edges okay Perfect. Now, uh, as you saw me doing, I group the shape. Uh, now, what we have to do is just copy and paste 
as many ties, times as we want uh, to create our binders. I create sets, uh, if you have a big um, notebook, I create sets of uh, eight to nine um, uh, rings. And also when I hit the middle, I uh, mirror, I flip around the image horizontally so um, if you put your happy planner you can see that the binders open a little bit in the middle so I like to create that uh, that thing in in digital now what you have to do is add your paper I'm going to be adding quote unquote a little bit of uh, paper uh, a little square so you can see more or less how it looks let me put it behind all of those um, binder rings and I'm going to place it where the paper is supposed to be and your planner is going to look like this or your digital notebook is going to look like this um, to me realistic imaging is uh, what I like to see when I plan in my planners, it keeps me motivated to plan. Okay. Okay, before we go any further, I'm going to show you a little um, in-between thing that I forgot to put in this video. That is a shadow. Uh, that allow us to have even more realistic look. So I'm going to duplicate the ring on top and that ring I'm going to play, paint it black and with gush and blur I'm going to be creating the shadow on top. So as you can see the difference between one and the other uh, you can see this one is even more realistic. Perfect. Now you can copy, uh, duplicate or copy as many times as you want this disc. Now I'm going to show you how you can turn this disc into a middle disc where you have to have two holes for um, every single page if you want to create um, an open book. Uh, that is, it's my jam. I rather having a whole spread because I do bullet journaling. So you have to copy and paste the hole and you have to flip, flip it vertically, not horizontally, and uh, place it in the other edge of the ring. And you have to erase the, the ring that is underneath, the one with the heart shape, and you have to add the same place um, for the paper, okay? You can cut as much as you want to, but I think that having that little heart shape in the middle uh, makes it even more pretty. So you have a middle heart, uh, a middle ring and an edge ring. Uh, you remember to uh, name your layers so you don't get confused if you are going to copy and paste and organize it um, to make your your planner it's better to name it so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching i hope you find it useful and it was entertaining I want you to have fun when I create these tutorials and I want to get you motivated on creating these type of things. As I told you, if you are not the type of person that likes to create these things but you are curious about them, um, I also have a bunch of products, PNG files that you can toss directly to your note-taking app or your or a Keynote or PowerPoint and create your own planner. I will also leave in the description down below the link to my Etsy shop where you're not only going to get uh, access to those binder rings but also complete mock-up planners and already designed notebooks 
and brushes and layouts that you can mix together and create your own uh, your own planner uh, in Keynote or in your note taking app. So the link to my Etsy shop in this is in the description down below. Finally, if you like videos like this and you want to watch more videos about it, please give it a thumbs up and spread the love by sharing to the people that you think might be interested in these type of topics. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.